Okay. Go Sp ahead. Speed. Yeah, with some speed. H. Me. Sun. She. Go. Go. She. Touch. Go. Two. H. Me. Sun. She. Go. Go. She. Touch. Go. Okay, try to lower your back shoulder a little bit. Don't, when this arm goes up, don't let this, the lat go. Keep it down here so it's not this way, it's this way. H, knee. Check again. Make sure that your lat is down. H, knee. Sun, chin, go, go, chin, touch, go, two, eight, knee, sun, chin, go, go. I wasn't going to count it. <laughs> but I forced my hand. H. D. Sun. Okay. Joy. H. D. Sun. This in Japanese culture, if you do this in American culture, this is kind of like what you remember your third grade teacher doing, you know? Right. With these right. things going like that. Yeah. <laughs> Impatience. Uh, scolding you, you know, right. and things moving. So it's uh, so we associate it with scolding, but in Japan, this is a submission posture. And it would mean submissive. Because when they used to have the big sleeves, that meant you put your sleeves, your hands in your sleeves, so you were good. Yeah, you were restricting yourself. Unless you had some weapons hidden. So we have the uh, side coming out of the sleeve, 
groups like that. But this is basically a submission puzzle. So what you're doing here is you're being non-threatening and then unsubmitting. Is that is that still submissive or is that old submissive? Old from kimono times. Sneaky, sneaky uh, tricks there, huh? Yeah. Okay. So much for the honor and the culture. And all the that, uh, right? head scratch right by the yeah. hairpin, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Japanese people still do that. They don't have a hairpin. You know, they don't know why this is a holdover. You know, when they're when you're making them nervous, asking them questions, they start scratching like this. Yeah. Uh, That's from for the hairpin. Okay. Yeah, I think from the old days, you know, like it's a, a vestige, you know, residual reaction. Thank you. 